Hey, back again. So in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about alpha lipoic acid, which is another one of my favorite supplements. Um, I'll put it kind of right up there as maybe second to glutathione in what it does for the body and how beneficial it is. And like glutathione, it, it, we make it. Our, so the human body produces alpha lipoic acid as part of our normal biochemical pathways. But similar to glutathione, if we're a little bit low in it and if we use it kind of as supplement form and boost the body's level of it, it does a lot of good stuff. Um, mainly from an antioxidant standpoint, um, but the, its biochemistry is pretty complex enough to where I won't even bore you with that. But um, And to kind of paraphrase, uh, one of the doctors that's really done some of the initial major work in, in bringing this to people's attention is Dr. Ber Berkson. Um, he, he practices out in New Mexico. Great guy, brilliant guy. He's an MD and a PhD. Um, his PhD was uh, in mycology. And early in his career, and I'm going to paraphrase this, so I may not get it completely right, but um, as he kind of explains in the book and, and his uh, lectured to us over the years, in 1977, he was a medical resident, and some people presented to the hospital that he was working at who had accidentally eaten some toxic uh, mushrooms, thinking they were edible mushrooms, um, ate a, a mushroom called the destroying angel, which basically destroys the liver, and it, and it will kill people. Um, it's a it's a toxicity that from the time of ingestion it's a delayed onset and then by the time people are sick they're already in trouble. Um, at the time it was thought there was really not much that could be done with that and so um, the attending physicians working with him with these patients basically said there's nothing we can do other than keep these people comfortable but they're going to die. Um, not being satisfied with that, he began doing some research and kind of calling around and actually, I think, discussed things with the researcher at the NIH and figured out that it was possible that maybe alpha lipoic acid, because of its beneficial effects on the liver, could help these people. So he managed to, he made it some calls, phone calls, managed to get a supply of alpha lipoic acid for, for IV use flown out to the hospital and he got it gave these people alpha lipoic acid uh, through an IV and saved their life. And went on to have many cases, I believe almost uh, more than 70 cases over the years of um, toxic mushroom poisoning that he saved these people's lives using this supplement basically. Um, it has tremendous power to, to rebuild the liver. So mainly when, when we're using this is for um, almost any condition that affects the liver. So everything from hepatitis to cirrhosis to you know, fatty liver disease, any of those things we feel is beneficial. Anyone that has elevated liver enzymes is one of the first things I'm gonna recommend that, that we add in. Um, in our office, we use this both as an IV treatment, uh, but also in the form of oral supplements. It's very effective uh, orally. Um, there's data out there that shows that it's very effective for neuropathy, um, especially diabetic neuropathy. There, there's good benefit with that. Um, so it just does a lot of good things throughout the body. Um, the, the form that we carry here is through a company called Biotech. Um, they, even though it, I don't know if you, well, you're not gonna be able to see this, it says alpha lipoic acid, but on the front it just says lipoic. But um, alpha lipoic acid, really good stuff, really beneficial. Um, can also lower blood sugar, so I usually recommend that people take it um, with food, um, one capsule either once, twice, or three times a day, but with food because it can lower blood sugar a little bit. Um, and it can increase the body's need for some of the B vitamins, and so if someone's going to be on a high dose of it, like 600 or 900 milligrams a day, I usually say throw in a B complex too just to make sure your body has adequate B vitamins, but um, really good stuff, alpha lipoic acid, love it.